I'm trying to. Ooh, okay then. Bless y'all for all things. It worked out. So we are going to get into Genesis 7 really quickly. I say really quickly because in my mind that's what it's going to be. I but willing it shall be so. And then I'm going to get out of here and work out. Bless y'all. Alright, so get your word out. And I try to read from the same source when we do these together that way it's consistent you know what i mean um but when you are studying scripture and i know i've said it before and i will continue to reiterate make sure you have multiple tools i also highly suggest um learning biblical hebrew as y'all leads you to to get a deeper understanding and connection between the words and the culture that way you can understand how to walk this thing out and really physically apply it to your life. Hallelujah. All right, so chapter seven. Then Yahuwah said to Noah, come to the ark, you and all your household, for it is you that I have seen to be righteous before me in this generation. In this time, okay, like how we were talking about yesterday, you be the example. Set the standard of obedience for your family, for your friends, uh, for yourself. You know what I mean? Be the you that you want to be proud of when it comes to trusting y'all, obeying y'all. When it's all said and done, right? When you are standing before our Father and you are beholding His glory, you don't want to be shamed, right? You don't want to be shamed. You don't want to be. Ash you don't want to be ashamed in this life or the next. When all y'all is requiring is a sincere heart to be obedient to him okay take that serious and walk in that he's telling all he's like in this whole generation it's you that i've seen to be righteous before me and so because of your obedience because of the righteousness that you hold when when you stand before me i'm gonna not only take care of you but i'm gonna take care of you and your family and because of your righteousness the earth can be saved like it is really that deep i don't feel like we understand the seriousness or take serious the severity of our connection to the most high like it's like we i don't know we don't really understand the vastness the power the sovereignty the authority that yah possesses and because of us because of him choosing us what that means for our power our authority and our vastness our obedient our obedience and allegiance to yah frees and allows the earth to move it according to function. Do y'all understand? The stars in the sky are able to move according to function. When Yah's people are doing, like that's why the earth is crying out. It's like it's waiting for us to really be on one accord as it relates to the Most High. Hallelujah. Of every clean animal, take unto you seven pairs, a male with its mate. Okay, and a male with its mate. Like we got to there's, it's always been a male with this mate in human form, okay? And with the animals. All of this, I'm independent and I don't need no man. And I, 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 I. This world wants to pull us away and detach us from the ways of our Abba at every single level. Mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, okay? Relationship-wise, pull you away. Okay, you do need a man. You do need a husband. You need a husband, sis, so you can operate in your in in your. You know how people talk about divine femininity. That's your divine femininity. Okay, you need your husband, but it has to be your husband, not just some man you like, not just some man you think is cute, not just some man that pay your cable bill. Okay, that play your Netflix account. <laughs> I'm being lighthearted, but for real, like. Just because he get, he, okay, and then we're going to get back to this word. You should be able to take care of you regardless of if you have a man or not. Your husband should be a complement to what you are already able to do. If you are marrying someone with the mindset of, oh, well, now I finally got me some help with these, with my financials. Or I finally got somebody to complete me. Or I find, and this is both ways, you know what I mean? I'm not just picking on my good sis because my good bro, you do it too. Um, then you are not coming, you should be coming into 
the relationship that Yah has for you as a whole individual. You should already have a whole relationship with Yah, a whole relationship with yourself, a whole relationship with your finances, a whole relationship with your function and purpose as Yah has created you, a whole re relationship with your emotions. You should be emotionally intelligent. You should already know why you do what you do, when you do it, how you do it, and be able to assess yourself in the moment. When things are happening as they're happening, you should be able to know, okay, if this continues on, this is how I'm going to react or respond. The difference between reacting and responding, you should be comfortable with setting boundaries for yourself, okay? I tell my daughter all the time, you can't control other people, but you can control yourself. I can't control what you say out of your mouth, but I can control the re the response I give, I give you when you do that, right? You can be disrespectful all you want. You just will not be able to disrespect me because I'm leaving. I'm not going to tolerate it. I can't control what you say out your mouth. I can just control if I stay here and allow you to keep saying it to me. You get what I'm saying? So you have to be emotionally intelligent. You should be able to function. You should be able to, you know what I mean, forecast. Like, bro, if this continues to happen, then this will happen, and that will happen. You understand what I'm saying? Not saying that you're going to be right on the money each time, but you should be able to use the information in which Yah has given you to make decisions ahead of time. Okay, okay? that's important. And you should be able to do all of this before you're in a relationship. These are the things that you should be able to bring to the table, as people say, when you come into a relationship and you and you unify before Yah as a as a as a one. You know what I mean? Like not just because they're cute, not just because they can pay for something. Like, bro, you should be able to everything that you want and you desire for yourself, you should be able to pay that for yourself. If you cannot, then you don't need to be that's not your person. Because you're being selfish, you're getting with them because of what they can do for you instead of what you all can do together for the kingdom. That's that's what it should be. Like, yo, I really see us doing great things in the kingdom as a unit. And if that's not what you want, then a male with this mate. And of the animal that is not clean too. A male with this mate. Verse 3. Of the birds of the heavens also seven pairs, male and female, to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. That's what the point is. People are like, we're just th th together to procreate. Okay. What if that is? Then what? Like, okay, so what? What if that's the only reason y'all created a man and woman is to procreate on the earth? Then what? You think just because you decided otherwise that you were going to do something different, then that no longer is y'all's purpose for man and woman? You think, well, I'm going to get me a man as a man and I'm just going to, or a woman as a woman and I'm just going to, no, no, you're, you're just going to be moving in dysfunction and disobedience and it's going to just tear your life up. I don't care what you say. I'm just so happy. Love is love. No, it's not. You are miserable. It's, everything that moves out of dysfunction is not comfortable. Well, maybe they don't know they're in dysfunction. They do. Nobody gets a strawberry on their knee and not realizes there. At some point when you get in the shower, it's... Uh, 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 uh. I don't care if it's a week later, your knee's still getting caught on the comforter on your bed. Stop playing, man. <laughs> you still trying not to pull the little lint off? You want to leave the band-aid up there for six months. Your knee has been healed for four months and you still scared to take the band-aid off. Dysfunction. You can't make me feel like or think that, oh, just because... Sorry, I had to pop my shoulder. That because love is love. And not, and not even just in homosexual relationships. In any relationship, bro, dysfunction causes dysfunction. You, you're you laying in your bed. You're thinking about something. You're on your way to work and you're thinking, you just constantly just, I don't know. And what if and how? That's dysfunction. Whether you're dysfunctional as an individual or you're dysfunctional as a unit with somebody else. And now you're making their life dysfunctional. Because you won't let them go. Or you won't hold them accountable. Because that's the thing too. Come on y'all. We got to get better. I said we won't going to be long. But bless y'all. We got If y'all is causing, calling us to be better. Then we have to be better. I told you. Intentional. You have to be intentional about your decision. Stop being so passive. That's laziness. 
Stop being lazy in your decisions just because it requires less effort for you to think about it, less effort for you to actually put some thought towards assessing the situation, put some thoughts towards being a remedy, bringing a solution. Okay, you got to think. It is what it is. Why don't you want to think? Why don't you want to use the ability in which God has given you? He says, I've given you a sound mind, but you waste it. Why? Why don't you want to think? Why don't you want to be held accountable for the decisions that you choose to make? Why don't you want to be held responsible for the the choices that you're choosing to choose from? You chose this. Okay, so now do what you have to do in order to handle it. Or steal a decision, remove yourself away from it. Okay, but stop being passive. Stop just sitting there and just not nah, navigate that thing. To the best of the ability in which Yah has provided you with. Understand that Yah has provided you with an ability to think, assess, and have an action-based response. Okay? Hallelujah. Okay, so... Verse 4. For in seven more days' time, hallelujah, I will send rain upon the earth, 40 days and 40 nights, and I will blot out all existence that I have made from upon the face of the ground. And Noah did exactly, I'm lying, that's not what it says. And Noah did according to everything that Yahuwah had commanded him. Noah was 600 years old when the flood was upon, when water was upon the earth. Stop saying you're too old. Stop saying that it's been like this for so long and you just continue. I never understood that. Like, well, my mama did it, so I just... So, like, you don't even know why your mom did it. And you're just going to do it, like, with no thought. Like, just not wonder why things... Not only why are is it being done like this, but is there possibly another way, a better way, a more a efficient way, a more sufficient way? Like, is there growth in this? Possibly? Maybe? I wonder. No. Gone are the days for a lot of people where they say, I wonder what, or I wonder if, and they actually perform an experiment to see if their hypothesis, I know I ain't the only one that went to school, if that test the hypothesis and see, have an hypothesis, an hypothesis, if, then, then what? If this, then what? If that, then what? Go see. Test, yeah, yeah, tells you in his word. Test and see if I do not. What? Pour you out a blessing which there is no room to receive. Test me. Fill my storehouses up and see. You know what it means to fill his storehouses up? Put me first. Put your hope in me, your trust in me, your imuna in me, your finances in me, your mental health in me, your physical health in me. Put some action behind it, right? You want to be healthy? Put your health in me. Show me that you want to be healthy. You want your finances in me? Put, put them in me. Show me that you make the decisions. Like, all right, shoot, I only got ten dollars, and you know what? I'm not worried about. I'm gonna do what I know. What I know needs to be done with this ten dollars because you have blessed me with the ten dollars, and then I'm gonna go on about my business. I had nine dollars yesterday. Thank you, Abu. After I did what I had to do. Um, I had to buy some stuff for me and my daughter, and I had nine dollars left. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait till I get home because I know it's a dollar in there somewhere, and then I'm gonna just add ten more dollars to my tank. And I was just like, uh, you know what? I felt in my spirit, y'all was like, yo, so you don't think I can do what I need to do with nine dollars? I need your help. I need you to go get an extra dollar to make it an even ten for for you to have enough to do whatever I tell you to do. This was a conviction I had as I was going on, on down the street. Real talk. And I'm like, you know what, I ain't really, I ain't got to think that that far ahead. Everything about me is in you. If you want me to have some gas to get somewhere, you're going to make sure I have the gas to get there. If you want me to eat, you're going to make sure I eat. If I don't have the gas, that means we don't need to go. I might be disappointed about going because I wanted to go or I wanted to do something with my daughter. So I'm going to feel the effects of that. But even in that, glory to your name. I didn't want to eat this and, and you're giving me a choice. I could not eat it, right? Like... But at least I got an opportunity to eat some food today. And then some days it might be like, you know what? You didn't provide any food today. So what that mean? I'm supposed to be doing fasting. Oh. Like when you say you trust y'all, like do you really trust him? 
Like, do you really trust him with your life to the point where if he doesn't provide you with food for the day, then you like, oh, I must be fasting? Or do you start worrying about like, oh my gosh, there's no food for me? Like, where do your thoughts go when when Yah isn't appeasing you? Because then you can know what your relationship with him is, for real, for real. Like, you want to know what your relationship with Yah is? If Yah doesn't do it how you want it to be done, how you act? How you praise, how you worship. And then are you praising and worship with the intent that, oh, he didn't do it how I wanted him to do it today. But if I praise and I worship, then he might do it later or he might do it tomorrow. Or do you praise and worship like, you know what, y'all, but if you never do another thing, if I never eat again, if I never be able to drive my car again, if you never give me another dollar, if I'm outside cold sleeping under somebody else's car, I will, am I still going to praise your name and tell you that you are worthy? Am I still going to love you? Am I still going to have a song in my heart? Hallelujah. What's your relationship with y'all really like? Like, what's it founded on? Because we was talking about mate, a mate, a, a, a male and his mate. Okay, because who's your mate? Mm, who's your mate who's your mate for me it's my abu that's my mate it is right now i'm not married my abu that's my husband that's that's my protector that's my provider that's my covering okay yahuwah do i want to sleep under a car i promise you i don't i promise you abu your will be done that is not my heart's desire Oh, but Abu, not my will, but yours be done. Heat the furnace up seven times harder. That woman watched her her sons, her son's limbs be torn from their body, their skin be ripped off, them boiled to death, their tongues cut out. seven times all seven of her sons come on now we talking now now we talking what set you claim for real for real for real for real for real for real what set you claim is it blood in a blood out with you for real for real real talk because what Yushua Mashiach did is not a joke. It's not a game. It's not for play play. Like what side are you on? Like choose your side. And stop whining. Stop complaining. Stop playing with our Abba. Because that's, that's, that's what you're doing. Like you're playing with him. You're not being serious. You're not being honest. You're not being truthful. You know what I mean? You shouldn't, you shouldn't live your life like that. That's why you keep going around in circles. Why do I keep ending up here? Because you're not being honest with yourself. And because you aren't being honest with yourself, your eyes and your ears can't be open to receive the lesson that Yah wants to teach you for you to graduate from this place. Hallelujah. All right. I didn't know we was going there, but bless y'all for going. Okay? Bless y'all for the journey. Stop saying you too old. I had to get back. You're not too old. You are not too old. You are not too old to start working out. You are not too old to start eating right. You are not too old to start over. Some people really feel like that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I will go off. You are not too old to start over. Bless y'all for the restart button. Because it could have been over before you had a chance to start over. So never assume or allow that talk to get into your head. Man, it's too late for me to start over. If I start over now, I'll never, I'll never, you'll never what? I'll, if I start over now, I'll never get all the way healthy. If I start over now, I'll never find the, the wife that y'all has for me. If I start over now, I'll never find the husband that y'all has for me. If I start over now, the relationship. If I start over now, the house. If I start over now, the car. If I start over now, other people will feel like. If I start over, push the button. Push the button while Yah is still allowing you to press the button. Worship and praise him while he is still available for you to worship and praise him. Call out to him while he is yet still available. Because at some point, the cutoff notice is coming, baby. 
Bless Yah for the restart button. Now you are not too old. Noah was, again, verse 6, Noah was 600 years old when the flood was water upon the earth. Noah with his sons, his wife, and his son's wives with him. Gosh almighty generational wealth because of one person's relationship with the Mosai. And now I'm not saying that, oh, because you love Yah and everybody around you. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying your obedience could be the example that Yah uses to set other people free, but you cannot take that responsibility up on your own. Be the standard, absolutely. Walk the walk, absolutely. But don't yoke yourself to the responsibility of saving people because you can save no one. And don't let people twist scripture to make you stay in relationships with people under the assumption that your walk will somehow by reverse osmosis like, or some type of osmosis will get them to be absolutely not. You can be the standard. And if God tells you to be the standard for a specific amount of time, then absolutely do that. But don't take it upon yourself to say, well, I'm going to just stay here and praise y'all so they can see and they can change. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You, you cannot save anyone that Yah has not giving up, given us the authority to save. That authority and power stands with one. When Yahushua HaMashiach did what he did, everybody has been given the opportunity to be saved by that blood. Okay, so you don't even take that responsibility off yourself. You don't even have to wear that because it's already been done. Hallelujah. Of the clean animal, verse 8. Of the animal that is not clean, of the birds, and of each thing that creeps upon the earth. Two by two they came to Noah until the ark, male and female, as Yah had commanded Noah. And it came to pass after the seven day period that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. In the six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the ninth month, on the seventeenth day of the month, seventeenth, not seventieth, sorry, but the enunciate, on the seventeenth day of the month on that day all of the fountains of the great deep burst forth and the windows of the heavens were opened and the rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights on that very day noah came with shem ham and yafith noah's sons with noah's wife and the three wives of his son with them into the ark verse 14 they and every beast after its kind every animal after its kind Every creeping thing that creeps on the earth after its kind, the all takes care of everything, and every bird after its kind, and every bird of any kind of wing. They came to Noah and to the ark, two by two of all flesh, in which there was a breath of life. Thus they came, came male and female of all flesh, as Yah has com had commanded them, and Yahuwah shut it on his behalf. Notice it says, as Yah commanded him. Move when y'all tell you to move, how y'all tells you to move, okay? Not how somebody else or something else tells you to move. Stay stay with y'all on the path in which he has prepared specifically for you as an individual. Uh, though we walk together as a collective, the, this is an individual journey. Do not let people create paths for you. Y'all has already had created a path, a path for you. Walk along the path in which Yah says, not man. When the flood was on the earth 40 days, the waters increased and raised the ark so that it was lifted above the earth. The water strengthened and increased greatly upon the earth. Okay, storm. And the ark drifted upon the surface of the waters. Uncertainty. The water strengthened very much upon the earth and all the high mountains which are under the entire heavens were covered. Sometimes you can't see and that's okay because you don't have to see because you know that regardless of what's going on, y'all said what he said, the process doesn't matter. The results have already been finalized. I said the process doesn't matter because the results have already been finalized. My Abba said what he said. Okay. Verse 20, 15 cubits upward did the water strengthen and the mountains were covered and all flesh that moves upon the earth expired among the birds, the animals, the beasts, and all the creeping things that creep upon the earth and all mankind, all in whose nostrils was the breath of the spirit of life of everything that was on dry land died. So for those of us that think, yeah, I wouldn't do that. And he did. And this isn't the only time that he did. We have seen the, the 
uh, Egyptians and their babies slaughtered. We've seen um, people drowned, obviously. we've The earth has opened up. What else? Sodom and Gomorrah. Y'all does not play. Like, we got to get out of this mindset that y'all plays. Because he does not. This is not play school. Y'all does not play with anybody. Okay? Anyone. He's chosen or not. Not playing. Okay? Is he loving? Is he kind? Is, is long-suffering? Sense of humor. Yeah, but he also not. And even in all of that, he's still not playing with not a person. Not an air body. He's not even playing with the birds or the creeping things. He's not playing with the stars in the sky. Y'all better read. You know, you're not playing. He said what he said, and that's what it is. And if you choose to defy that and cause others to, you and true. What they say? Ooh. Oh, no, me talking, trying to talk people out of the path in which y'all ask for them. I, I always say, ask y'all, well, what did y'all say? Did you take that back to y'all? All of that, you should, and then you know what I'm gonna say, but ask y'all, because don't, nah, I don't know the plans y'all has for you. I know that they are to give you life and a hope. So that you will be fine, right? But I don't know the exact to your life. Yah's will for your life is Yah's will for your life. I can tell you what that would look like based on this, but on your individual, what that looks like. No, that is a you and Yah thing. Hallelujah. So verse 23, and he blotted out all existence that was on the face of the ground. From man to animals to creeping things into the bird of the Shamayim. And they were blotted out from the earth. Only Noah survived and those with him in the ark. Okay? And the waters strengthened on the earth 850 days. They thought Noah was crazy until it started raining. Take that with you and do with it as you need. They thought he was they thought he was a wild one. They thought he ain't had no relationship with y'all. They thought he wasn't being obedient. They thought he wasn't moving righteously. Stay the course in which Yah has told you to stay, regardless of what other people think that you should be doing. Because they thought that Noah shouldn't have been building that ark. Then they wished that they could get on it. Hallelujah. May the most high bless you and keep you all day today, all day tomorrow for the rest of your chaim. May you be blessed and may your obedience to Yah be a light upon the path to someone else so that they can see their way towards him as well. Hallelujah. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, the righteous one, Abba. Bless your people. Keep your people today. See y'all later.